Dear friends, the ATAS company is with you again. The goal of our today's webinar is to conduct a brief review of the ATAS platform settings and show its functions and options. This webinar will be interesting mainly for those who are new to the platform and who have learned about the existence of Exchange volumes recently together with the fact that these volumes could be analyzed in such platforms as ATAS. After the registration, you get into the personal area. ATAS works on Windows only. If you want to use ATAS on MacBooks, you will need to install the Windows emulator first and only then the platform. There is a link to our channel in the bottom left corner of your personal area. You can find there a lot of video guides and other useful videos about trading. One more very useful resource is our knowledge base. All necessary links are in the description to this video. The knowledge base includes all instructions to indicators, modules, trade connections to accounts and quotations, and other platform elements. Use the search function for finding a necessary instruction or the answer to your question. One more interesting resource is our blog, the link to which is in the menu. We publish 2-3 articles a week on a regular basis. There are articles about how to trade, articles for beginner traders, market reviews and descriptions of the platform functions. For example, how to use the footprints, smart dome, clusters, patterns and strategies. You can find a lot of useful information in our blog. Let's launch the platform. Enter login and password from the message which you received after the registration into the ATAS authorization window. Select the auto server, although you can select any server. You need them for switching to another server if you have a problem with the one you are connected to. The working area will be absent at the first launch. Check the save the data item. You can also use this link to go to the personal area. The main window will open after the launch. This is the place from where you control all platform modules and elements. There are three tabs – Home, Settings, Help. You can open a new chart in the Home tab. You click here and select the instrument. If there are no additional instruments in the tabs, go to All Instruments, select the market and instrument, for example the Euro Futures, then select a required contract and press OK. The chart will open. We will speak about charts, cluster charts and indicators in more detail in our subsequent videos. Then we can open the smart tape. It shows all sell and buy trades. There is also the spread tape, which shows buys and sells in the spread, which means that the buy trades accumulate in the tape while the spread doesn't change. There is the All Prices module. It shows trade statistics by price levels. You can select the period and filter out the data by volumes, delta, trades and so on. We also have the Smart Dome, which is the order book. It shows limit buy and sell orders. You can add profiles and see open trades and orders on your account. You can monitor the trades executed on the exchange directly from here. There is a possibility to save and load various templates. There are some more interesting modules. The news module loads new articles from our blog and RSS feeds from other news websites so that you can keep track of the news directly from the module. There is also a possibility to set up alert messages to Telegram and email boxes. There is a detailed guide on setting up these alerts. They will be displayed in the window. Then goes the window of connections, which shows the list of all available connections to various exchanges and quotation and trading account providers. They are sorted out by markets. You will not be able to receive online data on the platform and trade on your accounts without them. By default, the platform receives online quotations only from crypto exchanges. Individual connections should be created for the Moscow Exchange and Western markets. Quick and Transec are the most popular ones for the Russian market. A connector to the MT5 platform has emerged recently. Gain Futures is a popular connection for Western markets. The demo mode provides online quotations during 14 days. Let's consider quotation connection through the Gain Futures example. Go to the guide and click the link, which leads to the demo account registration. 
You see the registration form in which you fill in all the fields and send it. You will get an email message with the login and password. Then you go back to a task, select Gain Futures, press Next and enter login and password from the email message. Then press Ready and the connection appears in the list. Then you press Connect and it should turn green. It is necessary to check the quotation provider item. Then you go to the chart and see how a test receives online quotations. You can see the server and quotation connection status in the bottom left corner of the main window. If the status text is red, there is no connection. Green color tells us that everything is working well. Now we go to the chart. There is a menu on top with various settings. Clusters and the left menu with cluster modes appear when candles are expanded horizontally. The upper menu provides a possibility to select a frame, chart type, drawing objects, access to the indicator window, trading strategies developed by yourself, and the window for downloading and saving chart templates. They can be saved in this list or as a separate file on the hard drive. Then goes the chart trader for executing trades and selecting the account. Then there is the function of the chart scale change, quick smart tape opening, and a possibility to look through historic trades with the help of linking. You can make a chart screenshot using this button. After you press it, the browser automatically opens a page with a ready link to the screenshot. The upper menu also has the button of the chart cloning and fixing the chart to working layers. We will speak about it in more detail in the video with the chart review. You can also go to the chart settings from here. We have here visual settings for changing the background, text, candles and lines. There are settings of clusters, cluster background color, cluster text size and many other parameters. We will speak in detail about them in another video. There are also trading parameters where you can set up position trade market colors and make a lot of other settings. We already mentioned that the last tab is for templates. There is the cluster chart menu to the left. Let's briefly describe the menu items. There are several types of clusters in a test. They are formed by volume, by the number of executed trades and without reference to the trade volume. For example, one trade can contain the volume from 1 to 15 contracts, but they all would relate to one trade. Then goes the tab of clusters by time. The numbers reflect the quantity of seconds the price spent in every cell. The next one is the bid-ask mode, which shows buy and sell trades separately. A test has a special algorithm, which splits the trades received from the exchange into buys and sells and highlights them with relevant colors. Aggressive sell trades to the left are colored red, and aggressive buy trades to the right are colored green. Aggressive trades are matched with passive limit orders, which means that the red color also shows how many limit buy orders were executed, and the green color shows sell limit orders to the right. The next mode is Delta, which shows preponderance between aggressive buys and sells and immediately highlights them with the relevant color. If there were more aggressive buyers than market sellers at this price in this candle, you will see a sell, highlighted with the relevant color, and a number of contracts, which corresponds with this preponderance. So we have covered the cluster charts. Let's briefly review the indicators. The indicator menu could be called from the upper panel, or you can select indicators from the context menu, which you can call clicking the right mouse button. All indicators are divided in several groups. The first group is bit, ask, delta and volume. You can find the delta indicator here and the cumulative delta one, which shows dynamic change of buyer or seller predominance and volume in the candle. The next section is the clusters, profiles and levels. Here you'll find the most powerful indicator for working with clusters. Its name is cluster search. We will speak about it in more detail in one of the future videos. There is the volume profile and its derivatives, dynamic level and maximum level indicators, and also cluster statistics. The next step is the order flow. It includes the big trade indicator, which takes big trades from the smart tape and shows them directly in the chart. 
You can watch aggregated or individual ones. The DOM levels indicator displays the smart DOM levels directly in the chart. You can see the depth of market indicator, which displays limit orders statically to the right, while DOM levels will mark them in the chart. Market power and multi-market powers, speed of tape, tape patterns and order flow indicator are derivatives of the smart tape and required for working with the order flow. Of special interest is the speed of tape indicator. There are some other indicators. For example, there is the depth of market. The external chart indicator joins the chart candles by the selected period above the standard ones. There are custom user indicators, RT indicator and H ranges. One more very big group of indicators is technical indicators. You can find here well-known indicators, which you see now on screens. It also includes the margin zones indicator, an open interest for the Moscow exchange futures, which shows in real time whether traders enter or exit the market. All these indicators could be combined with the volume analysis indicators. Settings will be shown to the right when adding each indicator. Links to instructions to each indicator will be shown under instructions. If you want to read a detailed description, just click and read instructions in the knowledge base. We have covered the review of indicators available in ATAS. Now we move to the trading functions review. Chart Trader is the main window for controlling orders, open positions, account selection, order cancelling and position closing. You can buy and sell from this window. The current state of the open positions is shown below the order control buttons and see what the current floating profit or loss is. There is also a marker with the opening price and number of contracts. You can switch between your accounts in this window. Be careful not to make a mistake and not to open a trade on the wrong account. Then we have OCO orders. That is one cancels the other. They allow us to create a bundle of two pending orders, for example, for buying and selling or take profit and stop loss. If the price reaches one of these orders, the second one is cancelled automatically. There are also protective strategies. They are required for automatic stop loss and take profit posting. You can set up the trailing stop so that the stop loss would follow the price automatically at a set price scale. You can also turn on trading from the chart with one click, activating the function with this button. Let's post all possible orders above and below the price in one click. Now we cancel all orders using the close button. You can also post orders from the context menu, which you can call if you mouse over the chart and click the right mouse button. There is also a possibility to trade from the smart DOM. Load it and you can see the window of account selection, trade volume selection and protective strategy selection in the upper panel. You can post orders clicking the bid and ask columns. For example, one contract has been posted now with a limit by order. If you need to remove it, press the cross below and the order is cancelled. You can also open market orders pressing MKT below the columns. The lower menu has order control buttons. The last module which we consider today is the statistics module in the main window. The statistics tab contains the list of executed trades, contract quantity, average profit and loss, drawdown values and other statistical figures for a trading analysis. You can select the current day data or data for a certain historic period. You can also select the account and instrument. There is also information on the posted orders. There is a trading log with details of every individual trade. There is the equity curve, which shows dynamics of the trading result changes. We will finish this webinar with a review of the settings and help tabs. The settings tab contains your working spaces, which you create when using the platform and save them when closing the platform. You can also import your working space from the third version of the platform. Then we have settings of the working layers. You can add charts and platform modules to these layers and switch between the layers for fast loading of the selected windows. This is a useful function for those who do not have sufficient amounts of monitors and have insufficient working space.
You can also change the light theme to the dark one. As of now, the platform is available in three languages – Russian, English, German. There are hot key settings. You can set up trading operations and drawing objects. You can find instrument lists for various markets on trading platforms. The Time Shift tab allows you to change the time zone for the time display in the charts and other platform instruments. General settings allow you to change the value area percentage and remove a limitation of the displayed levels of the Smart Dome, setting the value 0. You can also clean up the cache accumulated in the platform from here. The Help tab contains information about your license and access expiration time for various markets. You can go to the Knowledge Base from here and to the Platform Update page on our website. This is about all for now. The brief review of the platform is finished. We wish you profitable trading and see you in our next video with a detailed review of the charts in a test.